Okay, in case you guys ever drive down through town, all your new people that moved into our town. But that used to be that used to be the Ambassador Hotel. And back in the 80s, you know, where people didn't have a place to stay, you know, all the family rejects that the family didn't want them around. Yeah, they'd go on down to the Catholic Church and talk to them and they'd give them a voucher and and this place would put them up and they'd stay in there. Uh, some of the people stayed there, worked in a restaurant down below. You know, you go in there and get breakfast and things. And, uh, and downstairs they had a little uh, room there and the visitors came to see I guess you could sit with them and watch TV. And uh, they shut it down because it wasn't up to the uh, safety standards, I think, for the earthquake codes and things like that. But that used to be the old Ambassador Hotel. Uh, over on the side there, I said, oh, used to be a gas station. That used to be a Gearhart's garage. This old man I knew, he says, like the second story window on the side there. So the, he saw the cops shoot a guy at one time. But uh, that's what this place used to do. Used to put up, uh, people didn't have a place to live. You know, maybe some of them had a drug problem and the uh, family didn't want them. That's what, so the misfits in the family. Yeah, I knew some people that stayed there. And uh, anyhow, it's downtown Lake Elsinore. You see right here all the old buildings. I don't know why they don't tell this guy to put a new roof on this building there. Yeah, some of these old store buildings have a little apartment on top. But, uh, <clears throat> this is the parking lot. I just made a U-turn down through there. I noticed they got charging stations for electric cars. I don't know if just for the city or if it's open to the public or not. Yeah, I've been around Elsinore for a long time. And this little place used to be uh, a second-hand store, John's Service Center. And uh, you come here and get a used refrigerator or wash machine, or you're going to ride a Greyhound bus, and you come here and pick up your ticket, and the Greyhound bus come here and pick you up. Then he moved down there, his business. You know, same thing, get your bus ticket. Or second-hand appliance. Yeah. Use appliances. It smelled like dog shit. There's a dog stayed in there. He put, he's using for uh, <clears throat> cause all the tweaker drug addicts would probably break in and steal what they could. But they turned this into a little store now. I know recently, oh, I don't know, maybe around 2000 something, they did a kind of a paint job on it to make it look better. Probably city complaints, cold enforcement. Yeah, that used to be uh, Gerhardt's garage right there. Huh. For some reason it burnt down. I wonder what happened there. Yeah, the old Ambassador Hotel. over to the side I think uh, these are the parked cars that are working on in this parking lot yeah from the bottom the second window up I think that's the old man I was talking about that he shot saw the cops shoot a guy through the window 
the guy being a nut job. And that building behind there, I used to live there, but it was like an apartment. But I think before that was a motel. It was an old crooked landlord. Yeah. And then it was Harry. <coughs> and shut off our electric one time. Because one person didn't pay the electric bill, uh, the rent. But I think it was because he had a gambling habit. And he gambled the rent money away. So he shut the electric off on us. And talked to the police department and talked to I wish I had known that before he moved there. I could have told you about Harry. So it was in the drugs, uh, uh, stolen items, because he'd give people keys to some of the apartments when they left. And they'd go and steal all their things that was nice they had. And he was also in the prosecution. But old, they got an old class car there. I don't know if it's worth fixing or not. Huh, that might be something good for fab wraps for a build. Our little park downtown just off Main Street and Limited. gazebo thing there at one time we had my daughter's first birthday party and uh, had a piata and things like that and there used to be a campground down by the lake I lived in and one night me and my sister was that a guy who came walking through that night we walked up to the liquor store we started walking back through here and uh, we got on the other side of that gazebo there and there's a bunch of gang members in there and, and it looked like they were trying to surround us because you know some went one direction the other went the other direction like they circle around us so we cut back up here and at the time there was a uh i don't know a circus or carnival was down there by the lake there but uh yeah you don't want to walk through this park at night you never know what's going to go on because you don't know if the, if the gang members are friendly at night if they're still hanging out in here I did I did see a barbecue grill they got a nice little picnic table shade and there's a place down there with an arch with that block wall some people comment they always want to know what that was that used to be a Jewish church and uh, I believe it burnt down in the 70s I'm not sure what year anyhow that's what that was somehow the Jewish church got burnt down I'm not walking over there right now I, I spotted some homeless living in there you never know what's going to go on over there some get some people get nervous as a prostitute in church when they see a camera, but uh, in my opinion, these palm trees are the worst tree you can ever have. All they do is make a mess. All this high maintenance. They don't get no shade. I don't know why anybody plant, plants palm trees. You know, you would like to have a tree with a canopy. You know, there used to be a little swimming pool here for the little kids but they tore it out anyhow that's the end of my video bye